A simple guide to better choices in life. Pedro is a construction worker who was nearing retirement. As soon as he have finished his work, he decided to inform his employer that he was ready to end his career and spend his time with his family. He would miss his work, but he felt it was time to spend his time with the people who were important to him. His employer was saddened by this news, as Pedro had been a good, reliable employee for almost two decades. Before heading home he asked Pedro if he could do him a favor and build just one more house. Pedro reluctantly agreed, even though his passion for building had faded. While he was building this last house, his normal work ethic faded and his efforts were less than adequate. He used inexpensive and substandard materials and cut corners wherever he could. It was a poor way to finish such a dedicated career that he once had. When he was done, his employer came to look at the house. He gave him the key and said, This house is my gift to you for all of the hard work you have done for me over the years. Pedro was astonished. What a generous gift this was to receive from his employer, however if he had known he was building a house for himself, he would have made his usual efforts to create a high-quality home. 1. The same idea applies on how we build our lives. Every morning, when we wake up, we are blessed to have 24 brand new hours to live. God is offering us an opportunity to put our best foot forward while putting our hope and trust in Him, that brings stability and security in our lives. Yet we often lean on our own understanding and live life on our own way. Then one day we find ourselves dismayed that our life is not what we have hoped it would be. Let's check back on Pedro, though he was a good and reliable construction worker, he did not put his knowledge into practice. His passion had faded, and built a low-quality home an unstable foundation and likely to suffer damage in a storm. Building our lives with faith and seeking guidance from the Word of God, as our strong foundation, can get us through the storms of life. Storms in our finances, in our jobs and in our families. These might be in the form of troubles, pressures, suffering, and stress. When you pass through the deep, stormy sea, you can count on me to be there with you. When you pass through raging rivers, you will not drown. When you walk through persecution like fiery flames, you will not be burned, the flames will not harm you, Isaiah 43, 1-2. I understand that it sounds strange, but stick with me for a minute. You see, our life is being built on something. Some people build their lives on houses, cars, money, fame, grades, sports, music, drugs and alcohol, beauty, games, shopping, internet, gadgets and the like. Not all of these things are bad, but each one of them is temporary. They can all go away and might get damaged. However when we build a personal relationship with God, no matter the storm, we will stand firm because we always have him to seek shelter in. 2. If Pedro had known that he was building a house for himself, he would have made his usual efforts to create a high-quality home. However, he chose to use inexpensive and substandard materials. Our life is the sum result of all the choices we make, both consciously and unconsciously. We have the freedom to choose, but with every choice there are consequences. Some consequences are good while others are more like discipline. We need to be careful about how we choose to live. I've made so many unwise choices in my life as well. I've gone through dry periods where I stubbornly chose my own way and wallowed in sin. Yes, I chose to sin, but God never gave up on me. He brought me to my knees in repentance and cleaned me up. We must understand that there are infinite consequences to everything we do. So, we should make our choices based on God's principles. Spend time with God, cultivate a prayer life, and meditate on the Word of God every day. Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction, whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Galatians 6, 7-8 Yes, our choices can build our future life. But for the afterlife, we get only two choices, heaven or hell. Which would you prefer?